Okay, let's talk about price adjustments. Well, we've already touched on these when we were talking about pricing, but in this class we're going to go more in depth and show you even more options as to the price adjustment section. So come along with me and go ahead and create a price adjustment. You get to price adjustments by going to settings, operations, and then price adjustments. And then hit add adjustment. So give it a name, anything will do. And as we already talked about, you can give it to all companies or a selection of companies that have this tag or tags, or just one customer. For now, let's just give it to all companies because it makes it easier to test. Now the accumulate option tells the system how to deal with other adjustments. You may have adjustments that contradict each other. And we need to know in those cases, when there are multiple adjustments trying to be applied at once, which ones do you want to use? You can use highest priority only in which this adjustment will only be applied if it's the highest priority. You can use only with other accumulations, meaning it'll only be used if there are other accumulations. Or you can just say always apply it, no matter what. And if you had multiple adjustments going against each other, they'd all be applied and they'd sum out to something. Now we need to tell the system, do you want to do a percentage or a dollar amount? And then does that need to be a surcharge or a discount? So you could say, I want to do a 20% surcharge or a $20 discount. And then give this a priority that this setting will use to compare it against other adjustments. Remember, the lower the number, the higher the priority. And finally, do you want to show this on orders or hide it? Showing it on orders makes sure the customer knows what's being discounted or charged. Most of the time, if you're doing a surcharge, you're not going to show it. And if you're doing a discount, you are. Now, where are we going to differ from other classes? is in this class we're going to talk more about conditional groups and all the different things you can do with these. So much like validations that we configured in a previous class, you can drill down to the product and even attribute level and make adjustments based on their selection of certain attributes. So here's a good example of what I'm talking about. Let's say you hate running hickory through your shop because it splinters and it's hard, your tool life sucks, whatever. So you charge a little bit more for hickory. However, there's a really important customer that you've been trying to get, and he says he's not going to pay extra for Hickory. You can keep the regular price high for everyone who's already paying it, but go ahead and give this certain customer an adjustment to get back down to the price he's used to. And the way we would do that is by selecting only apply it to, let's say this is the guy. Let's say that no matter what product it is, we're going to give him the discount. And since we've marked Hickory up 10% for everyone else, we're going to go down 10% for him. So if the product equals all products, and, and then we can choose an attribute. Now this is pulling from all the attributes in your site. We'll say wood type equals, looks like Hickory was a bad example. Let's pretend it's maple. So what we've done is for this guy only, we've said bring the price back down 10% if he's ordering anything where he's ordered wood type equals maple because that's specifically what he said he had a problem with. And we can go ahead and save that. And since we did show on orders, we can test this. So if I go look at a test order that I've already created for him, I can see that he's getting the discount in the form of $3.08 off of this line item. So it is indeed working. Let's try changing the company. When I change the company, the discount goes away. Or if I change the wood type, it also goes away. So you see the immense flexibility you have with adjustments. Now keep in mind you can do AND statements, as many as you need, or you can do OR statements with AND statements in between them. And given this system with this much logic, you can create as many adjustments as you need to to fulfill a whole myriad of outcomes. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and create several different types of adjustments both surcharges and discounts. Try percentages and dollar amounts and give them some variables to work with. After you've tested it and messed around a little bit, create a couple of your actual adjustments. 